Today I'm going to give a review of the passion flower and its amazing health benefits, uses for anxiety, sleep and you can also drink it in tea form. So what is passion flower? Well in the 16th century Spanish explorers first learned of passion flower in Peru where the indigenous people used it to treat boils, wounds, earache and liver conditions. To the north the Aztecs used it to treat snake bites and fevers while the Cherokee Indians used it as a food and they also made tea out of it. European settlers noted that five stamens in the flower represented Christ's five wounds and the three styles represented the three nails that are attached to Jesus in the cross. They saw the crown of thorns in the finely cut corona in the centre and the white and purple blue of the flowers were thought to denote purity in heaven, hence why it was called passion flower and thought to represent the crucifixion. There are about 500 known species of passion flower and in Europe people have used it to treat restlessness and agitation and anxiety and this is probably its most famous use. The fruit can also be used to flavour certain beverages. So why is passion flower so good for sleep, insomnia and anxiety? Studies suggest it might help relieve insomnia and anxiety because it can boost levels of GABA in your brain. This compound lowers brain activity which can help you relax and sleep better. A systematic review of 24 studies of herbal supplements including those that use passion flower alone and those which used it in combination with other herbal therapies concluded it is an effective method of addressing anxiety without the serious side effects. So how do you make passion flower tea? Well you can add dried passion flower to boiling water to create a herbal tea. You can find dried passion flower or pre-packaged tea in many food stores. You can also find it in liquid extracts, capsules and tablets. If you want more information just click here. Another popular way of taking this herb is via a tincture. This is where the plant parts are extracted into medicinal alcohol to maintain and preserve the naturally occurring constitutes found in the plant. This extends the shelf life for up to four years and the tincture is quickly absorbed into the bloodstream. If you would like to use passion flower to calm your nerves, it's usually mixed with other calming herbs such as valerian and lemon balm. The tea is made by steeping one teaspoonful of dried herb in a cup of boiling water for about 10 minutes. For insomnia, I would drink a cup about an hour before going to bed. But it's worth noting, in 1978, the US Food and Drug Administration removed passion flower from the list of herbs generally considered safe, as it was not considered proven as a sleeping aid. However, in Europe, it's still widely used to calm nerves. For anxiety, drink 3 to 4 cups of the infusion a day or take 10 to 20 drops of the fluid extract or 10 to 45 drops of the tincture 3 times a day. So are there any side effects to using passion flower? Well it should be avoided by pregnant and breastfeeding women and it should not be used with other sedatives, antidepressants or blood thinners. It may also cause dizziness and confusion and induce excessive sleep. I hope you've learnt more about what passion flowers are and what they do and if you've enjoyed this video then please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video I'm sure you're going to like this video as well. Thanks for watching and bye for now.